My name is Stone Phillips. I'm a Parkway West graduate, class of 1973. I am currently the anchor of Dateline NBC, a news broadcast, primetime news magazine for the NBC television network. And um, boy, what a fascinating, wonderful um, job it has been for me. And so much of the credit really goes to Parkway. I, uh, after graduating from Parkway West, I went on to Yale University. And I like to say that I have a Yale degree and a Parkway education because that's, that's how I felt about it. I mean, it's hard to even, it's hard to even really express how great I felt that the, the teachers were at this, at this um, uh, uh, school system. I came to Parkway in 1965 as a fifth grader at Claymont Elementary School. Uh, Ms. Wyman was my first teacher, then Ms. Harris, and then there was Parkway South, and I don't remember a whole lot about Parkway South because I think mostly I was thinking about this really cute transfer student from Brentwood, a great swimmer, Julie Harris, if you're out there somewhere. I'm still thinking about you, baby. And then uh, ninth grade Parkway West Junior High was actually incorporated as part of the high school at that point uh, because it was still being built. And I um, went to ninth grade at Parkway West High and then on to onto the high school for the next three years. And I think about Bill Elliott, and I think about Bob Buss and Bob Weissert, my math teachers, um, DeWitt and Delaney and, and, and Jimmy James, my biology teacher, my chemistry teachers, and the wonderful English department at Parkway. Polly Kennedy was just such a marvelous teacher. I mean, she taught me to write. She taught me to love literature. She taught me really how to think and to think in, in complex terms as opposed to kind of the simplistic way that you do as a younger person. So I just give her so much credit. I was extremely irritated with Ms. Kennedy when she uh, enrolled me in a national essay contest as if I didn't have enough work to do with her assignments and everything else at school. I had to then do these extra essays. and um, but. She, she knew what she was doing. She pushed me to do it, and, and lo and behold, I wound up being one of the winners. And it actually, I think, really helped me on my college applications. Um, and so I have to thank Polly Kennedy once again for encouraging me to do that. And then there's sports at Parkway. I played uh, basketball and football. Um, and that goes all the way back to ninth grade with Bob Faree and Don Schiller. I can remember uh, we had an undefeated season on the ninth grade team. We went up to Parkway North Junior High School as an undefeated team, and they had struggled a little bit, and they wound up battling us to a tie. And we were like incredibly dejected as we walked off the field. And the North kids were ecstatic because they felt like they had won, but they'd only tied us. And what's, what's kind of ironic to me is that was the same year, 1969, when the Yale-Harvard game wound up in a 29-29 tie, and the headline said, 29-29, Harvard wins, <laughs> because they felt the same way. Yale had the superior team, but Harvard had battled back. So maybe it was an omen of things to come. Who knows? But uh, I did wind up going to Yale and playing football there as well. I quarterbacked the Yale football team. And again, so much of the credit goes, goes back to the coaching staff, Don Morton and Coach Jack Wells, our head coach, who was just such a such an inspiration. You know, I think in an age when, when uh, sports often emphasizes the wrong kinds of values, Jack Wells and his coaching staff really, really stood for, um, you know, good values. I mean, I can't tell you how much respecting and appreciating mommy and daddy were a part of his weekly game plan. I mean, he emphasized that as much as, as winning uh, any game. And I've always appreciated that, and I've, I've always appreciated his, his approach to sports. And then um, Mike Pratt, Rich Rogers, great varsity basketball coaches, taught me all about fundamentals and defense and hard work, and, and uh, I loved playing for those coaches. And, of course, Dan Deschamps was my sophomore basketball coach. We had a nickname for Dan. He was kind of a, you know, a, by the way, he's a fellow Hall of Famer here. And, and we called Dan Deschamps a uh, thumper because he hopped around all the time. He was just incredibly fast and you couldn't ever pin him down to one place. Thumper. And, uh, boy, he was great. Run and gun was 
thumpers philosophy, and that's what we did. We just ran and gunned and just had a blast all that year. So, boy, as you can tell, I've got more than a few memories when it comes to Parkway. Bob Buss, my calculus teacher senior year, he was obsessed with Sir Isaac Newton, and we celebrated Newton's birthday. We didn't have any homework that day. We didn't have to do any problems that day. He loved Newton and kind of instilled that in all of us, which was kind of fun. Pat Berger, my challenge English teacher, somewhere deep down inside he was a frustrated Shakespearean actor because he would come into the classroom and and literally read out loud the, you know, the entire play, whatever it was we were doing. And uh, Shakespearean play, and uh, and you know he was pretty good too. He was about as good as Richard Burton, if you if you ask me. Um, so many so many memories. I you know I can remember Bill Elliott, my freshman ninth grade geometry teacher, also ran the audio visual department at Parkway West, and I can remember my senior year, 1972, gathering in to watch the lottery where everybody was getting their draft number for that year. The Vietnam War was still going on, and uh, the draft was still uh, in effect at that point. It was, I think, December of um, 1972. And my number came up 37. And I just felt so unlucky that 37 was, 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 you know, was my number when I was hoping for something maybe a little higher so I'd have some choices. Um, and I remember his... Um, just his sensitivity and his thoughtfulness, and I always appreciated that. I think uh, wherever the wherever the the barrel wound up and whatever number came out, um, he was he was encouraging. And uh, you know, you get that kind of a number, and you're a little you're a little fearful. And I think about the guys over in Iraq now, and what they're going through. And uh, boy, I have a lot of respect for them. Parkway schools. I I, I can't say enough. You know, I meet. I meet world leaders, I interview prime ministers and royalty and movie stars and all kinds of incredible people in my line of work. And yet I really feel to this day that some of the most impressive people I've ever known have been the people that I knew at Parkway. And maybe topping that list is Al Burr, the principal at, at, at Parkway West. You know, Al, Al had a saying. Al said, I don't believe in thank God it's Friday. I believe in thank God it's Monday. It's Monday, all these kids, all hours, all week. Thank God it's Monday. And that's how they felt, and that's how they made us feel. Those teachers wanted us there. They wanted us there. They wanted us in their classroom. They wanted to teach us, and they wanted to prepare us for the world, and they did, and I will be forever grateful. It's a great school. You know, I hope that, uh, I hope that you follow your hearts and study what interests you, especially as you go forward. I think there's a lot of pressure to specialize in this day and age and to make decisions and take a direction early on. And I would encourage students today to, to really expand, keep expanding your world and your approach and be open to different things. And don't feel the need to specialize too soon because you'll be missing out on a lot. And I think Parkway, one of the strengths of this school system is, is how much it offers. So take advantage of it. I mean, uh, don't close yourself off to those opportunities and, uh, and uh, work hard.